Hey guys, it's me Hope. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I wanted to do a little video on all of like my spring decor. So St. Patrick's Day, Easter, spring, and like kind of all the time decor that will stay up basically until fall. In this box down here, I do have some more decorations that I might put up in like May or something. But for the time being, this is a this is what's going to be up. And then I'll kind of just take stuff down and like rearrange stuff as the holidays pass. Because Easter and St. Patrick's Day are both both in March. And then after like spring passes and it's like June, that's when I'll take all the spring down and like probably put like the rest of that stuff up or whatever other decorations I find. I don't know. My decorations are kind of random, I'm gonna be honest. But yeah, I just took down like my Valentine's decorations yesterday and then I just finished putting all of like my spring stuff up. So yeah, like I said, oh my gosh, my dog just knocked over my whole tower of blankets. Lovely, I just put those away today. So things might change like where they are and obviously these things aren't going to be up past their holiday or too far past their holiday. So things are going to move around, but I'm just going to show you guys what I have, which I actually have zero outdoor like spring St. Patrick's Day Easter decorations. I don't know why. I just, I just don't have any and I'm probably not buying any more. Oh my goodness. If I do buy some more decorations, which like I said, I'm probably not going to, I'll probably show you guys like an updated video, but probably not going to happen because... We need to be saving money because we're broke. But I'm in my upstairs bathroom right now, so I guess we're just going to start here. I'm going to go as quick as I can because I'm not editing this. So by the sink here, we just have these wooden painted figures. I have an egg and a bunny. And then over here, I have this sign that says Live Simply oh Blue Marley. Hey. Hey, buddy. And then I also have this little, like, painted bunny sign which this can also hang on the wall but I couldn't find a spot to hang it. Moving on. So in the living room here, oh there's Gordo. <laughs> Stop. In the living room here I put, oh my goodness. But I have some lights here. They were up there for the longest time but I moved them over here. I have a sign that says you're my sunshine, home sweet home. You're my sunshine and my gift. Family is everything. I have an angel, a Mary, and then 100% Irish, which is 100% not true. And then I actually took down one of my blanket ladders, and now I just have one with, like, some neutral kind of blankets up here. There's my squishmallow net. We moved this upstairs, so this is Goro's area. We have a little leprechaun hat and a welcome sign with a metal flower. There's another blanket that I like. So over here is kind of our like junk computer kind of area. This is where I do my school. Here's my computer. But I have this shelf here. And on the shelf, this, so this stuff will probably be up most of the time. So these are all like gifts from Valentine's Day, but my dogs will literally eat them if they're anywhere near the ground or in a box or anything. They find them, they eat them. Well, mainly narco. So we're just going to keep them up there for a while. And then these... Here are kind of like all the time decorations. Then I just have some little Easter plushes, a gnome, a happy Easter sign, and then a wooden bunny, and a wooden chick. That's over here, and then I have this little garland thing. This sign I've had for a hot minute, you can pause and read if you want, but I just put it up because I felt like it fit with like the spring summer vibe. A little sunshine, which I've had this for so, so long. A little Easter garland here. And then I have this little sign that says kitchen, the heart of the home. A little, like, greenery wreath with the Last Supper plate. Like I said, things might move. That might move to my front door during the summer. Over here, kind of another junky area, but... I have this road runner, which is very fit for like spring and summer. And then this, those are both from Ben's grandpa who recently passed. And this is actually from the Renaissance Festival and makes a little <whistles> bird calling noise. So it's pretty cool, but it's definitely fit for like spring. 
So I think that's all for upstairs. Um, we actually moved this shelf, this shoe shelf out because we figured out we were using it wrong and it just wasn't working in the closet. So, but coming downstairs, I have Easter garlands on both sides going down. And then I have this little rug here that says general store, which is a cute little spring mat. And then I have this fresh flowers with this garland. We still have to put our doors up. Oops. And then hopefully my dogs don't freak out, but I have this on my door. It says Lucky. That'll obviously switch out when it's not St. Patrick's Day. Narco, come on. What are you doing? He probably wants to go out. This is kind of on here weird because I lost some nails in the wall. That little thing. And then we have a St. Patrick's Day garland going down the stairs. There's no decorations in the rooms. Um, I have this Easter greeting sign, a little shamrock, sparkly, and then here I have a garland, St. Patrick's Day, and then I have some signs, so Blossom with the metal flower, this is like the same as the welcome one, this says hippity hop, a little bunny, and then this I actually got from my friend this year, it's really cute, beaded handle with an egg, it says happy Easter. And then these lights actually turn on, but they probably won't be on very often. But yeah, that's pretty much everything. It's not that much, but I feel like it's not super, super important for these holidays. I don't know. I might buy some more Easter because I feel like Easter is kind of an important holiday. But I also have these picks that are like for plants, I think, or like decoration, but... I might try to stick them in the ground. I don't know how it'll go because they're not like pointed or anything. We might try that. I don't know. Maybe not because literally it's like literally like two and a half weeks until or like maybe three weeks until St. Pat Patrick's Day. So it feels kind of pointless and it's going to snow more. So there's kind of no point to it. So that's probably not happening. But those are all of my spring and all that decorations. Don't know. <laughs> Really want to say all that again, but I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below to see more from me. I'm hoping to film and upload a little update video tonight um, for you guys, so you might see that coming in the same day. But yeah, that's everything. Hope you enjoyed. Um, let me know if you guys decorate for St. Patrick's Day or Easter or spring because I feel like it's a very, like, underrated kind of decoration wise an underrated holiday kind of decoration wise I don't know if that makes sense but let me know because I feel like not that many people do anyways I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video bye and happy almost spring like three more weeks bye guys